I have been on my best behavior. Yes, you have. <laughs> you, you don't even know the other part that's bad behavior. Yet. <laughs> but you are correct. I have been. We lost a lot of connection, sir. <clears throat> One second. We lost a lot of connection from friends in that person to person contact. And, you know, we saw a lot of, <clears throat> I think, uh, tension in families. We saw a lot of tension in friends and, and an increase in, in traumas and problems, right? Mm -hmm. And to have positive social interaction is so key. And I think, I think this is one of the reasons why. So <clears throat> I don't know if you know this about me, but I am trained through Tony Robbins. And one of the things that he no, talks no, about. No, I, I didn't, I didn't know that. I only knew that you, you like hanging upside down, but go ahead. <laughs> and, and superhero quotes, but go ahead. Yes. It's oh. so <laughs> Everybody should hang upside down. Pop them for the day. <laughs> okay. All right. I just see an 80 year old person doing that. Go ahead. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to do that. I got life oh. goals. Yeah, like, wait, Check back in when I'm 80. Oh, oh my goodness. Right, wait a minute. That's a long time from now, but go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. You were saying. Oh, uh, where did I go? I lost no, my brain. I don't know. Your, bra your, brain is, your brain is 80 because you just lost your train of thought. You're too young. You're young. Awesome. That's a huge squirrel moment. That's a few squirrels. And you just squirrel. All right. So you were just okay, discussing. So Robbins. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you forgot your coaching, Nick. You totally forgot his name. Okay, go ahead. So Tony Robbins talks about the six human needs. And one of the top human needs for people is love and connection. It's a need for all human beings. And if that's sore, then you're not going to function quite as well. If and you can do things like self-love and care, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we all need to be around and connect with other people. Even people who are introverts need a small amount of connecting with other people. And so that was poignant at the time because of social distancing and because of the mandates that were put on everybody. Mm. It was time to be mindful about that. Mm. Um, but I also need to take care of my mental and emotional health by finding ways to connect with other people. We need to be creative. We need to be mindful. We need to maybe even be creative. What pops in your mind when it comes to being creative and connecting with others? Is it this show? You and I connect. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I just made that. I just made hey, Be careful. Across the country. Be careful what you said, because believe me, with my, my audience, you will be making friends. They will be on your page. Hey, how you doing? All right. So um, they're very Y'all interactive. <laughs> Y'all can come message me. <laughs> uh, but when it comes to creativity, being mindful, how could we step outside of the comfort zone and out of a box to be that when we're looking to make sure we at least touch or come in contact with another human being emotionally uh, and in their life? I think you, there's a little bit of a bravery for some people to just say hi, to smile okay. to somebody yeah. else, to look people in the eye consciously yeah. Yeah. and say, hey, how are you? How you doing? I'm and sorry. Do that again. That, that was really Canadian when you did that. Do that again. Hey, <laughs> how are was, I don't think that was Utahian. Not that, that that's a word, oh, but it didn't, word. <laughs> it didn't sound like you came there from Utah. There was a time in my life when I watched way too much CMT, and I think the accent. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. My daughters might not like you after this show. No, God, you way too much CMT. Why Why would you say that? Because you had a draw when you talked? What, yes. When So <laughs> my hometown, my hick hometown, I definitely have a draw. From that era of my okay. life. All right. But I think from the CMT era, <laughs> <laughs> I think it kind of, I don't know, it strung something together for me. So when I get a little sassy, it. Obviously, it comes out. <laughs> it comes out. Sometimes. It's to come out. Where are you from? Yeah. I don't even know. 
You just get like confused. It's in your subconscious. <laughs> it just starts to come out. And, and they go like, I was just talking to somebody different. She just became a different person. Medic. They were like, from the South? I don't know. <laughs> it's, yeah, Southern Utah. <laughs> from Southern Utah. It's like, explain that to me. What do you mean Southern Utah? Yeah, it's a really, really yeah, big state like Texas. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, curious to ask, now that you've mentioned um, <laughs> CMT, what, <laughs> what did you enjoy music-wise when you were in your younger days? When it came to CMT. When it came to CMT? Yeah, because I'm not going to... Well, we could always move to MTV and, and, and others, VH1. But at this moment, CMT, you brought up CMT. Name uh, one or two people that you uh, just enjoyed uh, dancing to and cleaning the kitchen and taking uh, out the trash. No, from the CMT era was probably Tim McGraw, Faith Hill back in the day. Very good choice. Very good choice. Anytime you say Tim McGraw on my channel, that's a good choice. Uh, am I still there? Hello? Testing one, two, three. This call was coming and I had to dismiss it. Oh, was it Tim McGraw or Faith Hill? They were both it calling you? A, it was a spam. We should have answered it. it. <laughs> yes, you. Oh, that would have been good production value. Yeah, you should have answered it. <laughs> You're like, who's calling Hello? my daughter? Who's calling my daughter? Tell me the vacuum. I just got one the other day. All right, so I'm going to ask you this. Here we go. This is um, this has been uh, very, very uh, good to spend time with you doing this. Uh, I am looking forward to having you on again. I have so much more to ask you, but I'm not going to torture you by keep keeping this uh, uh, keep torturing you right now. But I do have these questions to ask you. Are you ready? You have. She has no idea. Everybody. Now, all of you who are loyal to the program. You know that at any moment, I will ask someone something and they have no idea what I'm going to ask them. Here we go. I want to know. The woman that you are now. Is because of one of the three or all of the above that I'm about to mention to you. The woman that you are right now that I find truly special uh, to listen to and talk to an amazing time release sense of humor. So, so I, I, I'm going to now ask you this. The person you are right now, the woman you have come to be right now, as we do this show together, is because of one of the three things I'm about to mention or all of the above. One, your background. Or in other words, your upbringing. Two, your perseverance. Three, your sense of humor. Which one of those was a driving force to get you to this point that to say you said yes to do the show to get you to this point to this show that you're on right now? Which one of those three? Probably the first two. I would the say. first. OK, the first two. Mm -hmm. Your up your upbringing and your perseverance. If someone. This is the second question. If someone met you today, what would they notice first about you? Your upbringing, your perseverance, or your sense of humor, or oh. all the above? <laughs> Probably huh? my sense of humor. <laughs> my <laughs> your, just peachy. <laughs> That's what they would okay. notice first. Your peachy sense of humor. Okay, last question. If you had to say a decade from now, from this moment in time, what would you remember the most looking back on your life? Would you fondly look back and remember more your upbringing, your perseverance through depression and other aspects of life? Or would you remember some of the funny times in which your sense of humor or that of others caused you to smile? I think I would remember most the perseverance, just being able to continue forward, whatever comes your way, just to kind of keep plotting the path, keep moving yeah. forward. To just to keep going, right? Just to keep mm -hmm. going it is often a theme on your page. I'm looking at uh, just talking with you over these three cards. 
you mentioned your upbringing and your perseverance. You mentioned that others would see your personality, or in other words, your sense of humor. And then you mentioned your perseverance is what you would reflect on, even if we went a decade out from now. I say this to you. I have had the pleasure of seeing each one of those in front of me in two segments. That means you are a true pleasure to not only be around, but you make the planet better because of who you are and your upbringing. But it's your perseverance that got you through this show. And up to this point, it's up to this point in time that got you through this show because and you trust. <laughs> well, and the humor. You trusted me, and I appreciate that. You said yes. You were the girl that said yes, along with all my guests up to this point that said yes, they would join me. And you are a true treasure. I, I hope everyone, if you're looking for a coach, like, comment, share, follow Melanie because she's very strategic in her intervention and she will always treat you as a goddess, even if you're a guy. No, I'm just kidding. I guess here, I think what God wants me to say to somebody who's mm -hmm. sitting in front of me and so that I can inspire them in the way that is tailored for them and their soul at that moment. And so when I'm working with somebody, I'm really looking at their highest self. That's who I want to speak to when I'm helping somebody is that I'm trying to guide them from whatever place that they're in. That's what being goddess is for me. You have, uh, you have, you have proved to be more than what anybody would ever imagine if they spend time with you, because to unwrap you and to spend time with you means that uh, you start to show people how they can navigate through their challenging times, have perseverance like you do. Uh, but you know, the other thing that I, I picked up about you is you really like to hang upside down and you like superhero quotes. I said yeah. that before. I find that fascinating because that's like stuck in your page there. Like people can miss that with all the other great quotes that you have. Okay, superhero quote time. Before we go, who has some really cool superhero quotes that you like? Not that you're going to remember them right now. But what, what, I know you got one on your page that I saw, but superhero quotes, what's up with that? You like that? Name some. I love the superhero archetype. I just love that <laughs> being able to have, I love in the superhero movies, I'm thinking like uh, Man of Steel, that's on my page, but also um, yes. like Wonder Woman. And I know these are fictional things, but. <laughs> but was I, that a dis wait, was that a disclaimer? It was like, okay, I was just coaching a moment ago. You know, it's like now you're going like, okay, okay, go ahead. I understand. But there's something so beautiful in that human struggle and the moment when the hero overcomes and becomes the person that they were meant to be in the story. And okay. I think everybody can have those moments in their life when they sense that struggle, that, um, that terrible upbringing, that background in maybe being raised in foster care or a narcissistic abusive relationship, that terrible mm -hmm. struggle, that story. And right. that moment when you have that breakthrough and you start to become the hero of your own story. I just, I just love it. I love it so much. And I think everybody can, can apply it. Way to go. Way to go. I, I'm glad you didn't say it was the cape or the uniform that you, you, you understand the struggle. Look at you smiling. Okay. So, so when it comes to, um, this show, um, we did the best we could to unwrap you in front of everyone so they can get to know you better. I need everyone to take this very serious. Like, comment, share, follow Melanie's page and show her some love and support. You get to end the week for me here, uh, in which I've had other coaches on. All of you have been truly fantastic, except whoever gets lands on Friday is the one that I torture the most. I have decided to be on my best behavior and not totally be a joke the whole time with you. Yeah. You, heard, you heard the joke. Okay, all right. All right. That's it. The show's are yeah. over. That's it. Uh, I love each and every one of you. Thank you, everyone, for supporting uh, my guest, uh, Melanie. Last uh, words of advice to everybody. Your last moment uh, to say a few words to social media. Um, yeah, people still joining as I'm about to go. That happened last time. Uh, but go ahead. Any last words of encouragement? Just 
have courage to be your best self. Beautiful. All right. Thank you so much, my friend. Enjoy yourself. And thank you for the CMT reference and Tim McGraw. All right, everybody, take care. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. You've made it through, many of you. You've made it through the process. Make sure to help others. We hope that by validating your experience and by giving you some perspective on your situation, you'll be able to take tangible advice that you've received and pass it on to others. Thank you for spending time with us today. Enjoy the music on the way out. <laughs>